Miss Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. If you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I, I hate telling people what to do, but they say you should have, you know, a call to action. So I'm just trying to follow <laughs> to get more people to watch. So please subscribe if you want to see more fun, creative, uh, mostly crafting for adults kind of content. So for today's video, I decided to subscribe to five popular crafting, um, you know, subscription box services. So I waited a long time for these to come. These should all be the February boxes and now I'm gonna open them up. But before I start, I just wanna say that I purchased all of these on my own. None of this was given to me. I used a coupon code on every single box. So the price you see in the corner is what it retails for and the price in the other corner is what I paid. Um, they often have different promos every month. There's always a promo for these boxes. So if you wanna go ahead and get one, make sure you look up a discount because who likes to pay full price, right? Okay, so the first one I'm gonna open is my paper box. I'm already intrigued because look, they have my name on the box. That's so cool. Like that in itself, I'm gonna cut out and keep and do something cool with it because that's a really cool graphic. Uh, it tells you where to cut. Uh, and on the back it says more than a box of paper. Well, I hope so, right? Uh, so I believe that this is a like stationary box. There's nothing for me to do in here, but it's a personalized like notepad thing. I don't know. That's kind of what I took from the website. So let's see. Oh, I need scissors. Okay. Oh, just dropped my phone. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh, look how cool. It says this box is made for Madison. Already in love. It is about the packaging, right? So good. Uh, and there's a piece of paper on the top. It says, Hi friend, welcome to our February grand box. We hope you have a fun, fabulous, and sweet month. Get ready to rock out with our 80s theme. This month, spread the love with our Valentine cards and make sure to thank your postal carrier on February 4th. Read on for more fun. You can scan something for a contest this week, which I'll definitely do. And it says, thank you for supporting our woman-owned small business. Girls rock. And then on the back, it says like totally duh. Love that. Okay. I gotta put it down. Okay, so here it is when you open it up. First, I see a little heart. Uh, this is a little thingy that you put on your table and you could put a picture in or a postcard in. Um, so that's cute. I didn't expect an actual like product. That's cool. Okay, so there is a hello card in here that recognizes that this is my very first box, which is cool. Uh, and there's tons of information on, you know, ordering, shipping, all that stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, the monthly planner and fun activities. What is this? What's inside? Uh, fun holidays. This month's tips for this box, 80 sayings and meanings. Oh, okay, cool. All right, this is this is really this is really cool. Um, creative tips. There's lots of reading material in here, which I'll do later. Um, oh my gosh, you can sign up today to to have a pen pal. That's really cool. I'm like into things like that. I might do that. Um, yeah. So here's a bunch of information on different days. Like for example, on February 20th is Love Your Pet Day. I love my pets every day, but I guess on the 20th I should especially. Uh, all right. So read that later. Oh, something else with my name on it. Uh, it's a little card, it says Madison, February. Again, these are the uh, like special days, I guess. I don't know, the first one says, uh, yeah. Feed the Birds Day on February 3rd. I missed that day, so, okay. Okay, now here comes the fun stuff, what I believe that I signed up for. First, we've got this notepad. Uh, it says groovy, and then the bottom, it says my name, which I love. So that's cool. I write notes all the time and it's definitely more fun to write down notes on like cool paper. Next we have this neon, like totally duh, longer kind of notepad and it says my name on the bottom too. That looks like really bright, like really bright. And then we have the My Paper Box personalized 
letterhead with stickers and envelopes. So you can see here that it says my name at the top corner. This is cute little loose leaf. And in the back, there are envelopes. So I guess if I want to write notes to anybody. Ah, this is so cool. Oh, uh, also there are stickers and they have my name on it. Look. Who doesn't, who doesn't want stuff with their name on it? That's so cool. This is a really, really cute idea. Um, for me, that's my favorite so far. I love stickers. Okay, but, but there's more. Oh my God, this thing is filled. Uh, next, I have a personalized stationary card from my paper box. It says, have a groovy birthday. This is great. Of course, I have a you know, big craft room and I have a little section for all of my cards. So I will add that in there. Then we've got a mini card, which I'll also add to my collection. Oh my goodness, put a pin on it. So I collect pins and patches too. So I'll be putting this in that collection. Gosh, I think I'm a hoarder. This is really cute. It says awesome sauce. These are also great for gifts. Like if you're gonna give someone a gift card, and you just wanna put something special on the top. You could put like a little cute pin. Um, that's cool. We've got another car, really groovy. This could kind of be for anything, not just a birthday. A cute little heart eraser. I'm going to do the beauty vlogger thing with the hand here. Another little notepad. Another. Just drop the box. Another cutie heart eraser. So that's two cutie heart erasers. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. So they've already made a card for you to give your mail carrier. And in the back it says, to the best mail carrier ever. I love that, I actually do love my mail carrier, so I'm gonna put this in the mailbox for him with maybe a gift card. And then there's another piece of paper here. It says, make your own cards. They're kind of like little postcards, which is really cute. And then here is one more. So as you can see, this came with a chock full of stuff. And I really, I really love this. This is stuff that I will use. And something that I like to do when I get something personalized is, for example, if you see this notepad, I will take uh, one sheet off the top of all of my favorite things, and then I will laminate it. Uh, with my scotch laminator just so I kind of have one forever because uh, when you have personalized stuff I, I like to make it I don't know I, I like to use it and I also don't like to use it because it's so cute But that kind of defeats the purpose So I always make sure and save one and I kind of put it in my big like scrapbook journal happy planner refurb So overall I loved this box. I think it was totally worth it I think this would be a really great gift for someone all you'd have to do is give their name and it would come to their house. And I think anybody who's kind of like crafty would enjoy this. So thumbs up, totally loved it. Let's go to the next box. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna open up is Annie's Craft Kits. She's got tons of different kits on her website. I kind of didn't know where to start, so I just signed up for the, you know, the random one that you get. Uh, so this is it, it doesn't come in a box, it comes in this, you know, thing. So let's open it. Right, we have the paperwork. Okay, so it all comes out in one big sleeve. Let's see what this is. I can't tell yet. Oh, but the back says, Annie's Farmhouse Style Kit Club Homestead Magnets. Okay, so this reminds me, I think I did sign up for the farmhouse uh, crafts. Uh, I know it's really popular now, very like home goodsy, like white, like distressed ish so this totally matches um this is something that i will use so i'm excited about this craft sometimes when i get these boxes i'm nervous i'm like oh am i gonna do i like that crap but this is this is cool so it comes with the gloves and the actual square magnets that you'll use it comes with of course like the one two three four five six it comes with six of the wooden you know little boards that are what the magnet is essentially uh you have what looks like glue and a black marker. You got a paintbrush. 
And then you have these little, uh, I don't know what these are for, I guess I'm gonna find out. And then here are the sayings they give you. They're laminated already and there's a popsicle stick in the back of them. Um, I don't know that I'll use all of them. I might use one or two that I like, like I'm a big bicycle rider, love that, and I like the fresh herbs. One for the fridge and then maybe I'll personalize the other ones with you know stuff from the paper box. So Future Madison is gonna come back right now and show you what I did. First, we have some white paint, paint your wooden square, wear the gloves, use the wood stain to stain the frame edges. This is actually a rub on, so you take the backing off, press it on, and rub a dub dub with the popsicle stick. Then you peel it off, reminds me very much of a temporary tattoo, although, uh oh, this one did not work. Um, now you take some hot glue and adhere the frame edges, peel the backing off of the magnet, stick it on, and you're done. Okay, so the magnets, as you can see, I only did one um, that came with the kit, and for the other ones, I just kind of did my own thing, and I loved how mine turned out, because <laughs> they're just more me, they're more colorful, um, while the other one is very farmhouse, so if you're into farmhouse, you know, you'd love that, but I like tons of, like, whimsical color. The only thing I'll say is that the magnets, they don't stay. Uh, during the night, I kept hearing the actual frame like plop off of the magnet so I don't think the he adhesive is strong enough on there. Um, I keep pushing it back on but it just isn't enough. Only one of them stayed, the rest totally popped off so I think where you can pull off and stick it you could maybe apply some extra glue, maybe some Gorilla Glue to make sure it stays because if it stayed it would have been perfect. It was a, a great project. I love the way it looks like little cute frames. Um, so besides it not sticking, I am very, very happy with that kit. So good job. Okay, so the next one is the Kiwi Co Awesomeness for Innovators box. This is the Maker Crate. Uh, this was highly rated on the internet. So let's see what it's all about. Now already I'm impressed because, like I said before, I love a presentation and while I liked the craft in Annie's, I kind of would rather have like a box. Also, I use boxes and I put other stuff in them and I keep them under my bed uh, and so boxes like these are perfect for that. Anyway, this, oh, macrame planters. Okay, so I've never ever done macrame. I don't know that it's totally my style, but I am excited to try it. Let's see. So you get the big piece of paper, and in the back it says, creativity takes courage. Cool, I'm into that. You have the instructions uh, for the macrame planter, which is cool. And then, again, this, this is very, like, I don't know. It just looks cool. Here, let me show you. This, don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, so here is what the inside looks like. <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't hold it up. Oh, this is really cool. So I kind of thought it was just the macrame, like the, the braiding, but it looks like you also make um, something with clay. I guess the pots you use for the plants. That is really, really very cool. I'm very intrigued now. Uh, you get a ruler, you get... I don't know, you get a lot of stuff in here. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be fun and something that I probably would have never done on my own. So I'm really excited about this box. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go make it now. So first you need the clay and follow the very thorough video directions to make the clay pot. That part was kind of boring so I didn't include it in the video but uh, here I am making some knots at the top. Totally reminded me of friendship bracelets which was fun. Okay, so this box, five stars, amazing box. You saw the box, it was beautiful. You have enough supplies in there to make three projects. They give you beautiful directions, a video to follow. They start you off with doing a little keychain, which I messed up. This didn't look pretty. It's supposed to be a nautical keychain with a square knot. This is not a square knot, couldn't handle it. Um, you know, when you see a hobby and you're like, oh, I'm good at X, so I'm obviously going to be good at Y and Z. Well, I said, oh, I'm great at crocheting, so I could probably nail, like, knots. No, I, I couldn't. Um, it was really frustrating, and it wasn't enjoyable for me. So this is the planter. 
Um, as you can see here, I did the macrame at the top and then all the directions here, I just couldn't, I was, I was, I didn't want to do it. Um, I was over it, just very much over it. And I felt like I didn't need to spend any more time doing it. So I made my knots. It's uneven. It's bad. The bowl is, you know, cracking. Um, that's okay. That was totally my fault, not the kid. Um, so macrame is not my thing. I don't enjoy it, but if you know someone, whether that's yourself or a friend who loves macrame, this is an incredible kit. Get this kit. Good job, Kiwi. Just wasn't for a mad crafty, clearly, because how fugly of a job did I do? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, time for the next box. This is Homemade Lux. It was the kind of number one in all the articles, so I had to try it. Here's what the front looks like. It's really, really light. It feels like nothing is in here, so I'm kind of curious as to what it is. Let's see. Oh, okay, I know why it was light. It is paper quilling. Uh, if you've never heard of it, you know, you can go Pinterest it. It kind of, uh, yeah, you take little papers and you twirl them and you put them in stuff. <laughs> so this I'm not as excited about, although, you know, I ordered these so long ago, I think I might've picked this option or I might've, they might've did a little spoiler alert and told you what it was, but I still wanted to try it out. Um, but I'm gonna give paper quilling another chance because the first time I did it was years ago and I kinda hated it. Uh, but let's see. So, oh, this is cute. So it comes with this like doorknob hanger and it says craftaholic at work, do not disturb unless you have wine or like, you know, snacks, candy, chocolate, popcorn. So inside it comes with uh, the blue paper that you use for the quilling. It comes with an Elmer's craft bond glue that I guess you need. A uh, little craft scissors. I could always use more scissors, so I'm not mad about that. Oh, quilling tweezers, which is great if you end up loving this and you want to do more on your own. You've already got the tweezers. And finally, uh, the quilling slotted tool, which I do not know what that means yet, but I guess we will learn. And then there's a bunch of the brown uh, sprinkle stuff. So let's go make it. <laughs> So you get these two tools to use. You use this one to stick the edge of the paper in and easily twirl it around and then you kind of pop it off with your fingers. Then using this glue that comes with it, I drew a heart and then you put the paper on its side to create kind of a frame for your art. Then you use your tweezers, tip your twirls and curls in glue and place them wherever your heart desires. Hey, okay, so remember before when I mentioned that I was never really a big fan of paper quilling when I tried. Well, still not a big fan. Didn't even really finish the project. Um, this is it. I'm not proud of it. It is not mad crafty. Uh, it's just like a sad heart with like the swirls inside. Yeah, it's just, just not my thing. And maybe it's your thing. Uh, and if it is, that's great because the box came with the, you know, like the quilling tool, like you saw and craft tweezers, which I will use for other things. Um, but yeah, disappointed. Uh, not really in the box because I, I did know that that was coming. I would like to try this box again only because it was so highly rated. But for me, this just, this wasn't it. It wasn't it. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say here. Okay, and finally, the last box I ordered is the Artists and Crafts, also rated high on the articles. I'm just going to cover my mailing stuff. Um, this is what it looks like in the front. Ooh. So it looks like we are making a gold leaf wood sign, which is also cool. I definitely have experience with gold leaf, not too much, but I've played with it in the past and it's so fun and so like visually like satisfying once it's done and it's shiny and shimmery. Um, so, oh, is this, okay. So here's the bag. And here is the wooden sign. Definitely a substantial heaviness. That's why I guess the box was so heavy. This feels really good in my hand. So you get that. And then in this box comes with white acrylic paint, which of course I already have, but that's okay. Um, some like bluey purple and black, you know, can never have too much paint. Then I don't know what this is yet, but I'm sure the directions will tell me. 
Then you have a gilding adhesive, which I have never used and I don't really know what it is, so I'm gonna find out. A foam brush, which of course they've got a million of. A little cup, which I guess you mix something in. A paint, a small paintbrush. A big paintbrush. And then, careful not to lose this, a very tiny screw. So, when I said I didn't know what this was, I guess the gold leaf is in here. It's gotta be. Okay, I'm gonna go make it and report right back. So first, I used the paint and created an abstract black hole, sort of. I wanted to use my own paint, but I thought I should just use everything that Kate came with so that I could show you. So here's me painting, and then I decided to add some paint flicks and splatters with my finger or paintbrush. I then created some stencils with my Cricut to use with the gold leaf. You basically just put them down and use the paintbrush to apply the glue and leave it until the glue gets tacky. Once it's tacky to the touch, I put my gold leaf on top, left it on for 30 minutes, then all you do is take this big brush they give you, which I love, and you kind of start brushing back and forth, and it takes off all of the excess gold leaf. This part was the most fun. You can see my design is starting to reveal itself here. Gosh, that is so shiny and pretty. Um, after I was done, I applied gloss varnish on top. That didn't come with the kit, but I have some and wanted it to shine even more. Okay, so long story short, this was my favorite project out of the four projects that I did. Supplies are great. Very happy with the outcome. This is what I ended up with. Um, instead of using it as a wall hanging or putting it on the wall, I ended up using it kind of as like a giant coaster for the table. So then I can put a candle on top of it and I thought it just looked cool. It kind of matched the vibe in my room. So I was really happy with that. Also, a great thing about this project is if you don't like what you did on one side, you just flip it around and you can do something else on the other side or make the other side a, I don't know, hang it up, do, do anything you want. So, so this project I totally loved, great directions, great supplies, I still have lots of gold leaf left, I have that gilding, um, I think that's what it's called, the gilding glue left to do more stuff, uh, so, so yeah, this was, I was really, really happy, favorite one to do, enjoyed it the most. Good job. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you could hit the like button and consider subscribing to see more fun crafts. Uh, if you wanna see me do more unboxing or kind of things like this, I've got a lot more in store. I actually subscribed to six sticker subscriptions, so that video will be coming out soon. And I've got a lot of other fun stuff in the future. So if you like what you see, definitely hit that button. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at madcrafty and I'll see you next time. Bye.